If you've created a few augmented reality apps for iPhone or iPad, you know that testing them can take quite some time. You have to load the app onto a physical device, go to the location in which you expect the app to be used in, and then test it. If the app doesn't behave as intended, you have to go back to your Mac, fix the issue, reload it onto your phone or iPad, and then test it again. This can take up a tremendous amount of time. So if you're wondering, how can I speed up this process? Well, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Ryan Kopinski, and today I will show you how to speed up your AR development process using a somewhat hidden feature in Xcode. Alongside the introduction of ARKit 3 and Reality Composer, Apple released a feature that allows you to record an AR video using Reality Composer and then use that video in Xcode to test your AR app. Now, without further ado, let me show you how it works. So what you will need is a, an iPhone or an iPad that has Reality Composer installed. Reality Composer is an app made by Apple that allows you to quickly prototype AR experiences. So as you can see, I just have an empty scene here. You, you can just create a new project in Reality Composer. Um, it might have some default content, you can remove that. In order to actually record an AR video that actually stores data um, of the scene, what you wanna do is select more options and then look for developer. When you select developer, you'll see two options, record an AR session and replay an AR session. In this, case, I want to sh in this case, I want to show you how to record an AR session. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, you can see my desk here. Um, we're going to record a session that is intended for a tabletop experience. So we want to have a horizontal surface um, to test our app with. And so I'm going to tap record. And you can see that the that the surface is already being explored. And so now we have a horizontal anchor. Um, and I'm gonna hold it still. And then I'm gonna move a little bit just so it has enough data of the scene. Okay, so we have about 20 seconds of AR data. Now, what you can see now is you can actually um, save the session or you can uh, share it. I'm going to share this with my Mac because I will be using it in Xcode to test my app. And so what I'll do is I'll give it a name. So I'll say tabletop uh, AR session. And then I will share it with my Mac. Okay, so it's sending it, great. So now that we've recorded our AR video with Reality Composer, we're gonna switch to Xcode on my Mac to use this and test our AR app. Now I am using uh, my basic AR app that I've done in a previous video. I'll link it up there and in the description below. Um, but what this app essentially does is it looks for horizontal surfaces. And then when you tap on the screen, it'll place a contemporary fan USDZ file um, onto the horizontal surface if it exists. And so in order to uh, use our AR video that has the AR session data embedded in there, we have to actually edit our uh, running scheme. And so the first thing that you have to make sure is that you have to select your actual device in um, devices. This will not work with a simulator or a generic device. Once you've selected your device, what we're gonna do next is we are going to select product in Xcode, and then we're gonna select Edit Scheme. Now, it opens up the Run Scheme in Debug. And so if you look down, you'll see a feature called ARKit Replay Data. Now, this is the, the somewhat hidden feature that I was talking about that allows you to run a video and test your AR app. And so we're gonna select Add Replay Data to Subject, uh, to Project, and then we're gonna select the video that I send over from my iPhone using Reality Composer. And we're gonna say add, and then um, don't close it yet because it'll add the video. And once the video is added, it'll show up in this dropdown over here. Okay, so now we see in our project explorer that we have the video.mov file, and now we have the replay data is selected over here. So just wait until you see this before you close this, um, uh, window. 
Okay, so now that we've configured Xcode to use our video, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna run the app. Now, it makes it take some time to actually load this app because it has to transfer the AR movie file um, to the iPhone as well. And so now it's saying running and then uploading. And so the uploading may take some time. I'm gonna speed this up just so we don't have to wait as long. Okay, so the app has loaded. And as you can see, I'm not moving my phone, but the, obviously the camera feed is moving. And so this is using the video that we recorded just now. Um, I'm gonna wait for the moment where it stands kind of still and I'm gonna add the fan onto the horizontal surface. And as you can see, this is a video, but I've interacted with it like it's an AR session. And that's how simple it is to use AR videos to test and debug your AR apps. Now, this feature may not be as useful to you if you have a simple indoor tabletop app. However, if your app requires you to be outdoors um, or at a specific location, it may benefit you to actually take a few of these videos of the scene so that when you're back in your office, you can quickly test and iterate on your concept. It is also very useful if, for example, you're writing code at night or it's rainy outside and you can go test on location. This will save you a tremendous amount of time and headache. And so I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like these, consider subscribing.